Tatmus, won't you give it to me? Tatmus, something, something. I don't even know the words to my own bloody song. Ugh. Oh, where in the world are we? Um. The hell? Oh, right. Uh, won't you give it to me? Tatmus, so oh, I'm ready, you see. Tatmus. Is a bit up there. Tatmus, won't you give? No, it's Tatmus, the best time of the year. Tatmus, the time full of cheer. Tatmus, won't you give it to me? Tatmus, I'm where do you see? That's it, that's it, I've got it now. Guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales update. Now, you might be wondering why the hell am I doing a sales update on Christmas Day. I'm not doing a sales update on Christmas Day. It's currently the 19th of December. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun just to put a video up on Christmas Day? I want to see how many people watch it in the first 24 hours. See how many people are actually going to watch YouTube on Christmas Day. That would be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll do a sales update. Also... I have a cool, funky new phone, look at that. I won't uh, put it on the lock screen and hold it to camera for too long because all I'm going to say is some of the resellers that you watch on YouTube, pure filth on direct messages. So, yeah, I don't want to hold it to camera for too long because you might get a glimpse of some of the weird, filthy messages that I uh, am accustomed to on reseller direct messages. I'm not going to name any names, you know who you are. But anyway, with that being said, Let's go. Let's, I'm, I'm excited today because it's Christmas Day. Well, it isn't Christmas Day, but it is for you, so I'm excited. Um, so, yeah, anyway, let's get on with this, and I will be sharing with you, with you today a few Amazon sales. So, just scoot to the side a bit so I can put my screeny shots in. Um, right then, so, number one is this Lego 75168 uh, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter or something like that. Um, I sold three of these for $29.99. This was like a meh one because I did actually pay £13 for these, so I was like, I think it was £13.33 because it was a 33% discount from 20 quid. So I was like, mm, maybe I could have held out for more, but to be honest, when we're up at the warehouse, you kind of get that feeling like, mm, do I want them sent back to me or anything, or should I just clear them? So there's still a decent profit in there, don't get me wrong, but it would have been nice maybe to hit that sort of 34 99 So on those, maybe I could have, maybe a better sort of uh, decision would have been to obviously wait to send them up, maybe send them up sort of New Year time or something like that. But you never know, because then prices come, could come down a little bit, so even that's a little bit of a risk. But yeah, so I sold three of them for the $29.99. Uh, next was something really cool. Um... I only actually found this, I went on my orders and I was scrolling down and I didn't realise I'd actually sold this one um, on another marketplace and sold it for so much as well. So this was one of the Speed Champions. Now, you may remember in my large RA, RA haul video, um, the one where I was showing all the Lego and stuff, I don't know, about a month or so ago, maybe two months ago, um, I, I referred to these and I said, oh, the price isn't doing very well on Amazon, and this was back in October, I think, and the price was like £24 on Amazon or something. Well, the price on these has just skyrocketed. I've been selling these comfortably for £44.99. I was getting them for £13 each. I had, I think I sent in about anywhere from 6 to 10, I don't know the exact number, but anywhere from 6 to 10, and one, well actually two of these now, because one sold the other day, went on a European marketplace for 76 euros, I sold one for 75 euros, and this one for 76 euros, I don't know what that is in pounds, but I'm pretty sure it's like not far off one to one is it now, so that is really, really decent, I'm really, really happy with that, so yeah, really nice sale on that one. Next, I sold two of these Lego Superheroes 76063. I think I got these from the Entertainer. I got a few of these from the Entertainer. They still had them in stock. I believe at sort of the £9 mark, 8 or £9 mark. So it was pretty much retail. Um, and yeah, I sent these up and I got 24 99 for them. Not the best margin, but still for RA, it's still a pretty decent margin. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to grab more of them. I think I might have one or two left to sell. I think I did send up more than two. Um, so yeah, pretty nice on those ones. Um, next, the last, um, I've wrote down here on the screenshot, last five or six sold, and it looks like a three-year-old wrote it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think I had about five or six of these left to sell since I had already sold about two or three that I showed on my last Amazon sales update. Um, and yeah, so I think I had about five or six left, and I just reduced the price just a nudge down um, by about £1.50 to £33.49, and the rest of them sold really, really quickly. More 
more than happy with that margin because again these cost me retail price of £13 and you went for some great money so pretty happy with that nice sell there and as I say five or six of them went so pretty good uh, decent little bit of profit there next was one of these uh, Speed Champions uh, Corvettes again I just wanted to show this one because this was actually on the UK marketplace and the price uh, that I was getting these or getting for these was uh, 44.99 so i wasn't obviously getting like the 76 euros or whatever and that's obviously because i have a percentage price increase enabled for european markets to cover any you know additional fees and stuff that may ensue for selling on um you know the sort of european marketplaces um so yeah, I've been. I think I've sold a few of these now, like two or three. But I didn't write times two or times three on the sc uh, screenshot for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, forty four ninety nine them again. I was getting these for thirteen quid. So happy days on that one. Next was this twenty Q version two. This isn't going to be an entirely Lego sales update, but the majority of it is going to be. Um, but yeah, twenty Q version two, brand new and sealed. I got this. I actually sniped it on eBay. I don't know, back in summer or even before that, maybe like sort of March, April time, um, for £15 plus postage. So I was pretty happy with that margin into 44 99 I did reduce, reduce the price quite severely on this. I had it up for 60 quid because I've attained, uh, I've actually achieved 60 quid numerous times before, last Q4 and maybe even the Q4 before on these. But it just didn't want to push up to that price. Um, so I ended up having to reduce it down. As I say, just severely reduced it down and got it gone. Still some good profit in there. So it, it, again, it's all reflective in terms of getting a good buying price. If you get a good buying price, you've got that wiggle room to make those good reductions. And then you can get the sale and get some good profit anyway. Opposed to just letting it sit there and sit there and sit there. Because you've made a, a wrong decision with your, your buying price. And then you end up not selling it. And, and maybe it goes down further and then end up having to take a bigger loss um yeah or like a very very small profit so yeah always remember buying price is uh, crucial so drum and part logo board game what am i i did say in the, in a whole video for these i would like to achieve 25 quid for these I don't know why I would use supplies because I probably could have got 25 for these if I had held on. But I always find it um, when when you get close because I reduced these about well what what day did he, yeah Friday the 14th I must have reduced these about the 13th because that was the day I was doing re reductions. I always say to myself about December 13th I'll start doing some reductions. Then I'll do some more reductions around the 18th 19th of more like severe prices just to get things gone. And you know if I have to break even on a couple of things I break even if. If I have to make a small profit on some things, I have to make a small profit, etc. Um, so yeah, I, I saw that these were on a sale down to twenty one ninety nine from Amazon, down from twenty four ninety nine, and I thought, you know what? I just clear these. I paid seven pound fifty each for these, and as you can see, I sold five of them for twenty one ninety nine each. So there's still some good markup on there. There's still a great margin in terms of ROA. Um, so yeah, still pretty happy with that. But as I say, maybe I was a little bit premature with my. Uh, reducing on these and maybe if I had waited the, la the last few days of uh, sort of December closer to Christmas I might have been able to achieve that 25 quid but still um, it's nice to get some things gone Next, I've sold two out of four of these, so I've still got two remaining of these Lego 41149 Disney Mona's uh, Island set, Mona's Island Adventure set, for £44.99, so I'm really, really happy with that. I actually bought these for £17.49 in a Lego sale, a Lego 50% off sale, so they were originally a uh, uh, retail price of £35. Quid. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that, £17.49 into £44.99. Great margin on that. As I say, I've sold two of them. Still got two left to sell. So that's pretty cool. I think we're getting close to the end now. Uh, we've got this Doctor Who uh, collection, like 10 book box set. Probably should have sold this on eBay, actually. It was brand new and sealed. Um, did I put like new or new? I don't think it tells me on there. But I think it was a little bit of a whip to the seal. So I may have uh, put like new on this. Um, but yeah, 24 99 on that. To be honest, I could have got the, pretty much the same price on eBay. And with Amazon fees being a bit higher, it probably made more sense to put this on ebay but then again it was quick to scan in and list and the rest of it on amazon so you know either or really um, but yeah i paid a fiver from a charity shop for this so yeah still some good uh, good margin on that but as i say maybe one to sell on ebay so this was a little bit disappointing I sold this Lego 21306 for Beatles Yellow Summer Now I had this up for £100 for a long time, probably 
uh, two months, a month or two months or something, and it was ever creeping closer to that hundred pound. I could every time I used to, uh, like I check back on the uh, Amazon page, it was like eighty two pound, eighty three pound, eighty four pound. But it kind of just stalled out. The price just stalled out at that eighty four, you know, eighty three, eighty four pound level when I actually um, was doing some reductions or when I was. I think this was uh, I did a couple of reductions on the sixteenth, seventeenth, as well as the thirteenth. So I think that was in this wave of reductions. And I just thought, you know, it's getting close to the wire now. I'm going to have to reduce this. And I reduced it down to 80 quid. And as you can see, I got that there. So wasn't wasn't the best because I would have liked 100 quid. I actually paid, I believe it was £35 something in the Lego sale. It wasn't a 50% off sale for this. I mean, it was like a 30 yeah, I think it was 30% off for this. Generally, the Lego idea sets, if you get them in a Lego sale around Christmas time or in January, they're only going to discount them by a maximum of 30% because they generally sell quite well for Lego anyway, so it's not like they need to do a big reduction to get the rest of the stock that they've got sold. So, uh, yeah, I got this for about 35 quid. Again, that would be about 30% 30, 30 discount. And you can see I got 80 quid for it, so it's a decent margin. You know, it's good money. And obviously, it didn't really take me any time to deal with, any time to list or anything. So, um, yeah, great margin. But I would have just loved... You know, I've said this so many times this year, but I would have loved to sell one of these Beatles sets for the £100 mark, it would have been really good, it was one of my sort of little goals uh, with my Lego investing, but unfortunately it just wasn't to come true. And then finally we've got this Lego London Creator Bus, again I wanted to include this because this is something that has um, disappointed me, it has kind of dashed my hopes a little bit, because last year I was selling these, I had about 15 or 20 of these. Um, I bought them at about £13 each, the same uh, cost price as this year. I bought them all for £13 each this year. Um, and last year, they went up to about £35. Like, they were really good. They went, um, you know, they went pretty high. For £13 into £35. Really happy with that margin. Brilliant. This year, they have just, although the rank is still really, really good, they have just not hit that. Like, between about the 10th of December and the 18th, 19th of December, or maybe even the 20th of December last year, I was selling these for 34 99 easy, like really, really easy, like going so quick, and there is no chance I would have got that this year. I realised that, although my buying price was £13, I had to make a decision of, do I, you know, just leave the price high and hope that a couple get picked off before those last few days in Christmas, or... Do I reduce down? Do I clear them for what I've got? Get my money out of them? Get a little small amount of profit? Probably like a 20-30% net profit net profit margin, something like that on these. Not a lot whatsoever. I mean, it's still de it's still okay for RA. You know, it's a still decent RA margin, but it's not the margins I look for. Um, I, you know, I really like 50% to 100% ROI. I know people may think that sounds insane for RA, but I like to push the boat out a little bit. I like to try and um, you know, just push it a little bit further. So I was a little bit annoyed with that, but I thought to myself, I've got to, I want to clear these. I want to get my money out of them. I want to get the small amount of profit that I can out of them and reinvest next year with a new strategy in mind for my Lego investing coming into next year and next quarter four as well. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm really trying. I've realized this year with my Lego investing that you've got to be always changing with it. You've got to be. Uh, keep kind of looking for those ones that are going to do well and, and the ones that aren't doing well you've got to make sure right I'm cutting those out of my portfolio I'm not buying those again etc it's all this kind of learning curve of right I thought this would be good this year it wasn't good so let me try this route instead it's just this kind of constant game constant movement and constant flow of how can I do you know how can I do the best? How can I get the best margin? Some things work, some things don't work, as within any business. So yeah, that is it. I think that's all the sales. I'll just double check, see what at the end. Yeah, we are at the end of the page. So I will leave it there, guys. Have a fantastic Christmas because obviously this will be coming live on Christmas Day. So yeah, hopefully you're having a lot of turkey, or if you're vegetarian or vegan or whatever, I'm sure you're having a great nut roast or anything like that. I myself am having a um, vegetarian Kiev because. Because if you don't know, about three months ago, four months ago, I turned vegetarian. So, uh, yeah, I'm, this is going to be my first Christmas actually having um, a veggie Christmas dinner. So, 
that would be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, hopefully you've got lots of presents. Hopefully um, ev you've got everything you wanted. And I will see you very soon for another video. So I'll see you very soon, guys.